The next question, the member for Thornhill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. So there are plenty of countries around this world who've proven you can take climate change seriously without an inflationary carbon tax. So unfortunately, Trudeau's Liberal government has chosen to implement a carbon tax that punishes the hard-working people of this province by driving up prices across the board. You, you, don't, you don't fight climate change by taxing citizens until they can afford to heat their homes, drive their cars, and put food on their tables. Just look south of the border where politicians of all political stripes are vehemently against the idea of a carbon tax. Speaker, can the minister please highlight how since we took office, we've strengthening, uh, we strengthen our trade relationships with the U.S. who doesn't have a carbon tax? Order. Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. Thank you, Speaker. When we are in the U.S., companies tell us they cannot comprehend this carbon tax. They know any additional taxes are harmful. Now, Ontario is the U.S.'s third largest trading partner after Mexico and China. $494 billion in two-way trade between Ontario and U.S. That's up more than $100 billion since we took office. But all the products that these companies buy from us are now more expensive because of this carbon tax. We are putting our trade at risk with our largest partner because of these rising prices. Mexico does not have a carbon tax. The U.S. has alternatives than buying from Ontario. Scrap Order. the tax. Supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Minister for his globe-trotting and tireless efforts for the people of Ontario. The federal Liberal government always touts how well the U.S. is doing on climate change, but what they don't mention is that the U.S. does not have a carbon tax that raises the cost of everything. The Trudeau Liberals continue to hike their carbon tax, all the while their friend Bonnie Crombie says nothing. If the Liberals listened to the businesses and workers of this province, they would understand that no one supports their carbon tax. In 2019, they told everyone the carbon tax wouldn't increase, but it's now costing people an extra 18 cents a litre at the pump while it drives up the prices of everything. Speaker, we know where the U.S. stands. Uh, on carbon tax. But can the minister talk about what Ontario's other Question. trading partners think about the Liberals' carbon tax? Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. Speaker, companies always ask us to explain the federal government's carbon tax. And it is a difficult answer because one in five jobs in Ontario depend on trade. Ontario has tariff-free markets in over 50 countries around the world. Adding a carbon tax is adding a cost to everything we sell globally. The federal liberal carbon Order. tax is putting companies' sales at risk. It's putting our economy for Hamilton at risk. Mountain come it's to putting order. Ontario jobs at risk. Now, Ontario We've lowered taxes. We're showing the Liberals that there is a path. Scrap the tax today. <laughs>